Hey everyone, I am Kate Kennedy and I am so excited to introduce you to Joshua Miller. He will be coming to Kane on October 18th and 19th. He's a digital coach with Grow With Google and he is here to teach us about all the ways that your business can uh, utilize Google to be the best that it can be. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it over to him. We're gonna walk through the day and the next day and kind of see what is open and available to you. Um, as far as workshops and one-on-ones goes. And then I want you to know it's not too late to sign up. So after you have more information, you can just email Joshua and let him know you want to attend. Without further ado, hello, Joshua. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Thanks so much for taking time. I know that you're really busy going around teaching people um, these workshops that you're bringing here to Kane. So I thank you for your time with us today. I'm looking forward to my trip. Um, yes, and it's a beautiful time right now here in Kane. We love the fall. Uh, the leaves have kind of gone through their peak, but they're still going to look great when you get up here next. Is that next week already? Next yep, week. Next yep. week. Oh my gosh. So uh, your first day here will be Wednesday, October 18th, and that is kind of our workshop day. And um, we've chosen four workshops, and I can tell you, I emailed chamber businesses to figure out where the most interest is. And these are the final four that made it out of that survey. So um, let's go ahead and break it down uh, with the time and what people can learn in each workshop. So the first one will be from 10 to 1130, and it's get your local business on Google search and maps. Yes. What can someone expect with that? So this is a workshop that we often, I, I hear a lot of businesses say, well, my we're already on Google. It's nothing that I need to come to or learn. And what they're kind of missing is one, are they actually verified on Google business search and maps? And two, if they are verified, do they actually know how to go in and take advantage of all the admin features? Um, you know, again, updating information, responding to reviews, asking for more reviews, uh, putting updates and offers out there for your business, as well as you know, correctly updating some pictures, a logo. There are just, there's many tools inside the um, business profile that a lot of businesses are unaware of. Um, and so we kind of walk you through step-by-step. Step. Now, if you don't have a business profile yet, we also get you started at the beginning of the workshop. So it's, it's this is the foundation one. Again, this is a free service that's out there for any brick and mortar, as well as service-based um, businesses. So you know, your contractors, your painters, your photographers, anybody that doesn't have a physical um, location and they work out of their home, but they go to a client uh, to service, they can also have a business profile in there. Um, and this is also for a lot of your organizations too. So some of your nonprofits, some of your, uh, you know, your real estate agents, your um, insurance agents, you know, ones that maybe say, I don't have a brick and mortar store, but we still do business. We still maybe have an office somewhere that people can come and tend to or schedule with us. You know, these are all options for business profile. That's great. And I know that that's one of the go-to things. Someone doesn't know about a business or is curious to learn more, they will search it. And maybe there's even more items that businesses can be adding to their profile for people to see and learn about them just in a quick yes, search. Yes, they can. Yeah. And, awesome. and I hear a lot, um, you know, that it gets mixed up too that social media and, and search engines are two different tools for a business. You want to be utilizing both of them. And a lot of times I hear small businesses, they're just, they're so overwhelmed with the amount of tasks they have to come, you know, finish each day for their business. They kind of put this one aside and they focus strictly on, you know, Facebook or Instagram. And again, while those are great tools for your business and you want to be utilizing those, this is another one where people, especially the ones that have never heard of your business are passing through, like me coming to Kane, I'll be using Google to find out where I'm going to eat, where I'm going to stay. Um, you know, that's where we search. We're not going to social media for those initial inquiries about the business. That's a great point. And I think that this will add a lot of value to uh, many, many different businesses and organizations like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Then um, from there, um, 1 to 2.30 p.m., we have make better business decisions with analytics, which yes. is a terrifying word. Analytics sounds so daunting to me, but I know it's really important and it's something mm -hmm. I know I personally want to learn more about. So what can someone expect in this one? It, this is a workshop that can seem a little um, overwhelming at times. And if anybody that's familiar with analytics, um, maybe they're using them before Google merged over to the uh, GA4 this past July when everyone officially merged over or they had their uh, previous accounts, the UA stopped tracking numbers. So we can talk about that when we're when we're in the session. But when you for people that have seen it, when you look at it, like I said, it's a very overwhelming thing. You see a lot of numbers you don't know what to do with them. 
Um, you know, we're going to discuss, you know, what those numbers are, what you can do with them. And also sometimes it's not that every business needs to look at every single, um, you know, metric within that, that platform, but maybe they can find the ones that are specifically unique to their business. So maybe it's talking about website visits and then conversions. I mean, that's all they want to know is how many people are, are being converted to customers or making phone calls, um, through their website there. But if you also want to get very specific and you want to start finding out, you know, maybe why your website is getting traffic, but the sales aren't happening, we can look at well, where are they falling off? Where are they leaving your website? How, how long is, the, um, are they spending on your website? What, what led them to your website? Was it an organic search on Google? Was it through social media, like Instagram or Facebook? Was it through another platform? You know, again, we can see all these uh, metrics within the Google analytics. Yeah. And it sounds like um, it really, again, fits the range of people, um, people like me who are kind of newer to the analytics and might feel a little bit overwhelmed and people who have some experience, but maybe there's been changes that they can learn mm -hmm. or items that they aren't aware are even there. So uh, a yeah. good one for all, all levels. And I'll give an example on that. You know, when we've done that, um, we've had that topic a few times over the last few months, and I've had people that are just signing up for Google Analytics then and there. And then I've also had um, marketing teams, you know, where there are two, two or three member team coming to a workshop and they're using analytics, but they've run into a question, they've run into an issue, um, you know, and they're just kind of coming to see if they can learn, you know, any additional um, information from that session. Awesome. That's going to be a good one. And then from there, we have 3 to 4.30 p.m. Learn the basics of Google Drive. Google Drive, there's so much there. So there, there learning is. the basics and, and is the, probably... It, it says it in the title. This is basics. Um, this is not a overly complicated, uh, overly complicated um, workshop. I mean, we're going to talk about Google Drive. We'll jump into a little bit of like Google Sheets, um, Google Docs, uh, Google Meet. I mean, the, the, all the different features that come with Google Drive and the storage and what you can be utilizing this for within your business. Um, you know, the nice thing is a lot of these are services um, that people pay for elsewhere. And, you know, within Google Drive, you can get that free cloud storage, you can get free access to sheets and docs and um, slides. So this is just another great uh, way for businesses to learn additional tools that they have available to them at no cost. Well, and also, I feel like we kind of got, um, we all sort of started to use Google Drive and, and that over this more virtual era that we're in. And so even if like people like me, I've, I've used some of those features, but I'm not proficient at them. Mm -hmm. So I think it'll be really interesting to get even better at maybe what I think I know, or maybe learn shortcuts or new things that I don't even know. And that's exactly it. It's just getting some of the shortcuts, maybe learning some of the new little features that you just, you get so used to using things your way um, that you don't learn, you know, a couple of different ways that you can use the same tools that are already there. The other thing that we kind of cover in this workshop too, and we'll talk about in, in, in our session is the organization behind it. Again, it's a, it's a cloud-based storage, but you, it's easy, if, the more you use it, just to throw everything in there. But we'll talk about some of the organizational uh, features that you can kind of take advantage of, you know, folders with inside folders and grouping them. And then how to also Im um, implement that into your daily routine. So this is a workshop very often um, we see people showing up and saying, well, I already have one process for my business. However, I'm here because I'm I'm ahead of this, this organization or I'm a volunteer here. Mm -hmm. And I've seen this a lot where, when you have groups that are filled with volunteers and they're working at all different levels is Google drive is one of the best tools for everybody to be able to have access to everything they need for that organization. So when we're talking about graphics and uh, reports and letters and, you know, just all those documents, photos from past events, everything can be stored where all of a sudden your entire team can have access to it. And, you know, so we kind of get into different ways that this, this tool can be used, you know, for work, but also for your personal day to day. That's a great point because a lot of people in our community wear multiple hats. Mm -hmm. So they may be using uh, Google Drive for their business, but like you said, there's could be different ways they could utilize it in their volunteer work. Um, so Absolutely. that's a really great point. And that's every rural community is the same. Like you said, the people are just there. They, they're running their business, but then they're also in charge of A, B, and C outside yeah. of the business. And they just, all of a sudden they find themselves, everything's in, not in one place or they're very disorganized. And this is a great tool that can bring them together. And I give, I give a lot of um, real examples from previous, you know, clients of ours um, that we've gone through these workshops that have done an exceptional job as far as just bringing everything together inside Google Drive. 
Awesome. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. And then finally, in the evening, we're offering use YouTube to grow your Google. To, sorry, use YouTube to grow your business, mm -hmm. um, which I think the word YouTube for some people probably feels like, oh, that's not for me. Um, so who should come to this workshop? You're right. Um, people, <laughs> they hear YouTube. And, and honestly, that, that's even me. Um, I don't want to be camera. <laughs> But the reality of it is every business could find a use out of YouTube to, to grow their business and grow their audience. Um, and it doesn't mean they have to be in front of the camera. There's a lot of different ways that they can utilize YouTube um, to promote their business, promote, you know, whether something maybe they sell, they make a service they offer without ever getting in front of camera or even without ever even speaking on camera, to be honest. Um, and we kind of highlight that uh, for businesses because we do live in a visual time. You think about what, um, you know, TikTok and Instagram Reels and YouTube itself has done for the industry. I mean, we, we're visual people. We want to watch. We want to be engaged. And so that way, it's just about finding how can your business engage with the customers, you know, in a platform like YouTube. Yeah. So again, something for everyone, whether they mm. want to be on camera all the time and making videos where they're talking and teaching to figuring out ways to utilize YouTube without maybe necessarily have to being the one on the front. And this is another great uh, topic too. And, and I, the, again, we're, we're talking for small businesses here, but to me, a lot of things classify as a small business. And one of those are a lot of the organizations and your nonprofits and, you know, they're still out there offering a service. Mm -hmm. And you think about these groups do a lot of fundraisers. They do a lot of activities and events. YouTube is a great way beyond, mm -hmm. you know, again, where we, we're used to taking pictures and saying, oh, here's a bunch of pictures from our event. But when we want to start talking some videos or even YouTube shorts, you know, right from the phone, 60 seconds or less, and building that channel to promote this event, more people are going to find out about it. It's going to help grow your event for upcoming years. Oh, I'm intrigued. Wow, this mm -hmm. is exciting. So that's a packed day. And I just want to be clear that you are welcome to sign up for one workshop two workshops, three or all four. You don't have yes. to go to all of them. Um, but if you want to sign up, can you let them know uh, the best way to register for these workshops? The best way to register, um, just because of the the way we went with having multiple workshops in one day and then a second schedule with adv um, additional opportunities to connect with me is to email me. So you can email me at joshuam at growwithg.co. And that's joshua, J-O-S-H-U-A-M at growwithg.co. Yeah, and just watch yourself. My finger automatically goes to the M. So just make sure that when, double check your uh, uh, registration email address when you put it in there. Um, yeah. But you could just email. If, they, if you don't, them. if they don't get a response from me within 24 hours, they should reach out to you. That means something went wrong in them reaching okay. out because I do respond to everybody once I have them on the list. Okay, awesome. Yep, that sounds good. Um, so that's going to be such a full day, jam-packed with great information. Um, I will be at every one of those. I'm so excited to learn about each one of these different aspects of Google. And um, then Thursday, we even added a day that people who either can't make it on Wednesday or maybe have very specific questions in addition to what they learn on Wednesday can have time one-on-one -on -one with you or in a small group. So um, we have it broken down on Thursday the 19th, 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. are one-on-one -on -one and small group sessions. And then 10.30 to 12 would be open office hours. And then again, in the afternoon, we have some more one-on-ones and small groups. So you mm -hmm. kind of um, break it down for us. What's the one-on-one? -on -one? What's the small group? What's the open office hours? What does that mean for people? Yeah, so this program, in addition to our group workshops, as I travel across the state of Pennsylvania working with small businesses, we also offer like one-on-one -on -one support. So this is a great opportunity where if a business, one, one example would be is if a business has a, excuse me, a very specific question. So um, you know, let's look at our first, our first workshop topic, getting your business on search and maps. Well, maybe there was, maybe you've had a business profile for the last couple of years, and you just made a change and all of a sudden the account's been suspended, which happens pretty regularly. And it's usually just, it's something that just needs to be corrected within the profile. Um, but a lot of times this is where people run into an issue and they're looking for that additional support to see what they did and how they can, um, fix it to get their profile back up and, um, and have access to it. So it's something like that, you know, where again, it's a specific problem for their business or within one of the services. So maybe it's, you know, they weren't able to get analytics set up with their, with their website properly. We can sit down and look at that. So these are like 30 minute sessions um, to kind of help start that conversation and get them in the right direction. Some, some problems require a little bit more time and we can continue that conversation, you know, through email or through, you know, virtual like this. 
Um, other times we can resolve it right then and there. The, the, the small group sessions during that time is that's where if a couple of businesses all have this similar question, I can kind of group them together. Same concept though. We're going to sit down and kind of address that one question that, you know, maybe now two or three individuals had and, um, you know, again, address each one specifically for their business to see what was going on and what happened. Um, you know, another, another topic that'll come up on Wednesday a little bit, or that we can discuss on Thursday is for any, uh, any businesses that sell products that whether they sell them in store or online, if they're not using Google uh, Merchant Center, it's a way to get their products listed across, you know, have the option to be listed across all Google services hmm. uh, or platforms at no cost to those business owners. You know, a lot of times businesses might have questions there about uploading their products in, in, in um, groups rather than individually one at a time. So it's different things like that for those. Hmm. The office hours is kind of just another group setting, but a little bit larger where we can kind of keep more vague topics going back and forth and, and they might just arise with a question or I can kind of, you know, I've done this where a business will tell me what their business is and we'll pull it up and we'll make suggestions, maybe what they can do to improve their business profile or their YouTube channel. Um, or if I see, you know, if you look at their website and they have a lot of products on there, different ways that they can utilize the Google Merchant Center as well. So this is a little bit more of like, again, an open session where we could talk about anything, anybody can stop in and try to learn from it, they can ask their questions. Um, so it has a lot of similarities from the one-on-one -on -one session, but it's, again, it's just open up for anybody to be able to sit in on those, that or during that time period. That is so great. I and feel as of like now, we still do have openings, um, some in the morning, some in the afternoon, and then we have no cap on that. Um, I'm looking at the time here, the 10.30 to 12, 10.30 to 12, um, office hour. And so that that's anybody that can attend that. And like I said, there's still a couple for the morning and afternoon available. Yeah. And what a, I mean, what a valuable opportunity because there's no, like, it's not going to be a waste of time at all, no matter what, because mm -hmm. they'll, I'm sure someone sitting down with you, you'll be able to help at least one area of their, um, Google use with their, for their business or organization, right. Nonprofits yeah. can come to this as well. So this is all free. So this is for anyone in our region that wants to travel to Kane. We're having it here at the Six and Kane building on the third floor on October 18th are the workshops. October 19th is the one-on-one -on -one and small group sessions. And it's free, open to the public. Uh, it would be helpful to register ahead of time, mm -hmm. especially if you want a one-on-one -on -one with Joshua, because um, then we can make sure the schedule is going to work for everybody. Um, but we do so, take walk-ins as well. So if somebody doesn't get a hold of me, they're still more than welcome to attend on Wednesday or the okay, awesome. office hours on Thursday. Okay. So yeah. So helpful, but not required um, yeah. would be registration. And so uh, if you reach out to Joshua, it's Joshua M at grow with G dot C O. Mm -hmm. um, you can also reach out to me if you can't get through, or if you have a, a question about getting connected with him. And, um, I hope that many of you take advantage of this. Uh, he's like, he said, he's been traveling all around, uh, teaching different places and people, these, this information, and it's just going to make all of us better. So, um, you're, where are you traveling from? Uh, next uh week? Mifflin County, okay, so so central Pennsylvania. About, do you know about how long have you Googled it? <laughs> I think it's about three hours about three hours. Okay. Yeah. And you're spending the night. So mm -hmm. you'll be here two days. And, um, I just, you know, as we've been talking and planning this, you know, we've been wanting, I've been wanting to make sure people know who you are, have put a face to a name, kind of learn more about what you're offering, but Absolutely. also wanting to know you more as a person. So one thing we talked about that I think would be interesting for people who might uh, be living in this area and coming to the workshop is one of your hobbies, which uh, is trail racing and long distance running. Mm -hmm. So trail racing, you do actual races, like you register, you run and you go on the trail. Yeah. It's been a while since I've done an official race, but I still do the running parts. So, uh, races will be on the list here coming up, but, uh, always, always running. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you have lots of, uh, great trails that you can use around here while you're uh, staying. I'm looking forward to it. When I, when I travel, it's one of the ways I get to know an area is I usually go up for a couple long runs, either late in the morning or sorry, early in the morning or late at night. So sometime while I'm in Kane, I'll be out running. Okay. Well, we'll keep our eye out. And is there anything else that you feel is important for people to know before next week? The only thing I would say is, you know, again, business owners, employees, and even if there's somebody out there that says, Hey, I'm looking at starting a business, or I think I'm an event. And they want to get that information now to stay ahead of everybody else. Um, it's open to anybody. It really is. So there's something that everyone that can come in is going to be. Yeah.
Yeah, awesome. Yep, valuable for everyone. I think all levels can get something from whether it's a workshop or a one-on-one -on -one or a small group. So Joshua M at growwithg.co mm -hmm. to register or get your questions answered about what we talked about today. And um, I guess that's it for now, huh? All right. Well, we will see you next week and we're looking week. forward to it. And I hope to see you guys next week too. Um, this is a great opportunity. Again, I, I learned about this through a colleague in the field uh, about a couple months ago and immediately got him on the calendar. So I can't believe it's here and, and so excited to see you next week, Joshua. All right. Well, I guess I'm excited to come and hear about all the businesses. Yeah. All right. Well, if anybody has any questions, let us know and we will uh, talk again sometime soon. All right. See you.